What's going on guys? A prep that's often neglected. Everybody stocks up on their beans, bullets, and band-aids, but do you got acetaminophen? Do you got stuff for colds? Do you got stuff for sore throat? We're in that season, so let's talk about Prepper's Medicine Cabinet. I'll show you guys kind of what I've been stocking up on here and there. Maybe it'll give you some ideas for what you should include on your next shopping trip. So more specifically, what are we talking about here today? We're not talking about tourniquets or IFACs or uh, blowout kits, you know, Israeli bandages and uh, quick clot, all that stuff, which all that has its place. Don't get me wrong. Uh, big, big advocate here of keeping a tourniquet, you know, with you in your go bag and stuff in the car all the time. But what I'm talking about is the stuff that everybody deals with almost every season getting sick. Like, I'm sure you can hear my voice now. I'm just getting over being sick. Good old Omicron variant. Um, <laughs> but some things that have helped with this. Cough drops, cough syrup. Uh, let's see, do you have joint, uh, joint issues? Do you have joint pain? Do you have chronic pain? And are there OTC over-the-counter measures that you can take to help out with said issues. Of course. Think about how bad it would be after shit hits the fan and you catch a flu bug. Well, if you don't have something to take care of those symptoms, bring down your fever, stuff of that nature, a flu might just kill you. What you can do is stock up on OTC meds and that's what I'm going to show you what I've got here on the table and might give you some ideas of stuff that you should stock up on, especially if it's something that you take regularly. Enough of me talking, let me show you what we got. So I'm just gonna start from front to back here. Yeah, just like you wipe. Anyhow, starting off with vitamin D. Uh, most people who've ended up in the hospital for the latest <coughs> are vitamin D deficient. And you can look around, there's been um, a lot of talk about vitamin D. You get it from the sun, but during the season when we're not getting a whole lot of sun and many people are all bundled up, you're likely low on it. Uh, right here, the vitamin D supplements from Dollar Tree. Some things I will recommend from Dollar Tree, others I will not. This is one of those will nots. I made a video on this a while back ago. 400 IUs per pill. Well, come over here to this Meyer brand and it is a thou or 2,000 IUs per pill. And uh, I think I got these for four bucks each, and there's a hundred of them versus 30 of the Dollar Tree. Not something to get at the Dollar Tree. But especially in the winter season, I'd recommend somebody take one of these every day to try and remain healthy. All right, so let's see here. Vitamin C, of course. That's a good one to have around as well. I've been taking that. I think it's uh, helping me get over my symptoms. And I got them on sale. So just keep an eye out on end caps. And especially when we're getting out of cold and flu season, you'll likely be able to get a bunch of this stuff, um, a really good deal on it. So just keep an eye out. Allergies. We've got a couple things for allergy relief here just to try to help mitigate symptoms. I mean, really, they just basically help dry up your runny nose and stuff like that. Moving on along, um, some nasal spray. Nose is too dry, this will help. Now for cold and flu symptoms, got some good old, this is Dollar Tree, uh, dextromorphin, it's a cough suppressant, and some day and nighttime stuff here. Let's see, the Robitussin, we don't have too many of these, we're actually gonna go stock up on some more because it does good with a lot of stuff, even just a cheap knockoff Robitussin right here, would be a godsend after shit hits the fan and you are sicker than shit and can't get up to do much of anything. Oh, these right here. Uh, whenever I see these, I like to go ahead and pick a couple of them up, um, which I guess I don't have them all out here, but whatever. These right here do great for a sore throat or coughing. They're, they work really good. So keep your eye out for those. 
And talking about cough drops and stuff, these didn't really fit on the table. There's more over here. These are some cough drops that actually have dextromorphin in them, which it'll numb out your tongue and your throat. So really good for the sore throat stuff. And then here's just some generic menthol cough drops, uh, but they, they, do, they do all right and they're cheap. Let's see, where was I? All right, uh, zinc, we're gonna be getting some more of that because uh, I know everybody heard it last year. They do pretty good for that. <coughs> About taking care of that. What else we got? Okay, now we're getting into some other stuff here. If you need to stay awake, if you need energy, you can get these Dollar Tree, get some ginseng pills. Um, I've gotten a few of them. I haven't taken them, so I'm not really sure how great they do, but ginseng is the main ingredient in most of your energy drinks. So I'd venture to say that it might help if you have shit to do and you don't need to be falling asleep. Now over here, we've got good old, actually the Dollar Tree started selling these. I couldn't believe it. Um, dietary supplements. Are these going to be good for you? I would say hell no for they're, they're over the counter amphetamines is what they are. Shit to keep you going. And talk about fat burn. No, it's it's just over the counter amphetamines. Let's be real about it. You can get these from the gas station. And um, yeah, I like to have a few of these around. I like to keep them in my bug out bags or uh, get home bags because it just might not be the right time to sleep. I might need to just keep going. It's a shitload of caffeine, is what it is. So having some of these on hand, I think, is a good thing to have because you never know. You might just end up needing it. Also, let's see here. We got don't go to sleep and need to go to sleep. Melatonin. And the, this is just sleep aid. It's not actually um, anything for colds or anything like that. But maybe you just need help sleeping. Here's some liquid form of just need help sleeping. Something to think about. Probiotics. The last thing you want to have is digestion issues when you're eating a bunch of... Uh, Food that you didn't normally eat, like maybe your first couple weeks going back on or going on to beans and rice is your primary diet choice, along with creek water. Stuff like this might just help out with that. So we got a few of those. Uh, antacids. Oh, some people have acid reflux issues and stuff like that. We got a buddy who he lives off these things. So they're good to keep around. And if you don't need them, like I, I never take them. I never had any issues, but somebody like a friend of mine who does have these kind of issues might trade me a fair bit to get them. So that's also something to keep in mind. Trade items, hydrocortisone, rashes and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Okay. For talking about, uh, moods and whatnot, some kava kava, and some 5-HTP+, plus. this stuff is pretty decent. And these are some nicotine lozenges. Uh, they're extremely strong, so if you got somebody who's trying to quit smoking or who is a smoker and just wants to chill out a little bit, then that might just help. So I put that in there with the mood stuff. Fish oils and uh, glucosamine, uh, joint help, and... There's plenty of people who have joint issues. Heck, I got good old tennis elbow. Not sure they'll help for that, but it's there for people who need them. Now, anti-diarrhea medication, you guys know all about these right here. I'm sure you've heard about them. These things are a godsend when you don't want to be losing uh, too much fluid and getting dehydrated really quick. So, especially if you eat something that you shouldn't have and your body just says, uh, no way, this could really, really help out in keeping you alive. Let's move on around here. Now we've got a couple of the big ones here. All right, start over here. Some Excedrin, extra strength. <clears throat> Basically, it's an acetaminophen and caffeine. Same as these right here. They're uh, the knockoff bear back and body. And it's really just acetaminophen and caffeine. So, yeah. Well, I don't have a whole bunch of these, but I've got some. And these right here are naproxen. Um, different kind of pain relievers. Because, like, right here we've got 
my little tower of acetaminophen. And for myself, but not only for myself, I'm pretty sure that this could be a good trade commodity. Yeah, this could be a good trade commodity after shit hits the fan. Because if you can't get prescription painkillers, you know, these help. And it's better than nothing, of course. Some people can only take those. This is just knockoff Tylenol. Tylenol. Then over here, we got the ibuprofen. And this right here actually does help out with my elbow pain because of the, um, oh, damn it, the word anti-inflammatory aspects of it. So right here we got some that's uh, PM. It's got a little something to help you sleep. And it's basically the exact same chemical that is in these guys right here. But... This one right here has acetaminophen as well. All right. But both these big trade items I see in the future. Now, aspirin. There's, uh, I always get the knockoff brands if possible or the store brands and trade items as well or somebody has um, heart issues and needs to take some aspirin to thin out their blood like every day, then these might be a viable solution. Also, I believe these will be big trade items. And of course, multivitamin gummies, because I'm still a damn child and I'm almost 30. <laughs> so back out here for an overview. Now, some of these items could be a bit expensive or not something that you want to throw a bunch of money into each week, I understand. But this is where I've gotten after about, oh, a year or so of uh, picking some up here, some up there, and getting it all kind of put together. Obviously, there's some areas that still need work, but I think it's a good place to start. All right, guys, I've shown you what I've got stocked up here. Uh, let me know in the comments what I've got right, what I've got wrong, if you got any suggestions. And there's definitely more I want to add to this, but this has been on a shoestring budget, um, getting what I can here and there. You notice there's a lot of Dollar Tree stuff. And some areas is good to buy from there, some areas it's really not the best deal, like we talked about with the uh, vitamin D. So, why do this? Well, think about it. Uh, a cold or a flu, and, and nobody's coming to assist you. Well, how well are you going to be during planting time? How well are you going to be doing, well, right now? If you are trying to get some wood cut to heat your house, if it's real bad, but you've got some stacked up, but you're so damn sick that you can barely get off the couch to go and get some wood to heat your house, how screwed are you? Uh, during planting time, seasonal allergies, something that can easily be dried up but if you don't have that, well, you'll just be like me blowing snot for half an acre and it really, really, well, sucking to do what you have to do to stay alive while you're dealing with uh, symptoms. And that's what a lot of the stuff is. Taking care of symptoms to make your life less shitty during a time when there's some little bug trying to make your life as shitty as possible. Just something to think about. Trade. Well. I guarantee one of these little bottles right here is going to end up being worth a lot more than you put into it right now, especially for a dollar or two. And to give somebody some pain relief, uh, especially if somebody needs to thin out their blood and you've got aspirin, well, you might just be able to trade for that and probably come out pretty good on it. So stock up your medicine cabinets, no excuses. You can do it on the cheap and look around though for the deals. Do some comparisons. Like with the vitamin D, Dollar Tree only 400 milligrams um, a gel, a capsule. Meyer, excuse me, not milligrams, I use. Um, 2000, I use a capsule. Excuse me. So, do that, do some comparisons, and make sure you're not getting screwed. Well, guys, I'll leave an Amazon link in the description. 
Uh, if you want to do your Amazon shopping, you're already going to do off of my link. It'll help support my channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out Miss Nature Prepper and check out Martin Midlife Misadventures. Well, I think that's about it. Have a good day.